Hi there, this is Ginger Bratzel from New Patient Attraction Automation and gingerbratzel.com and this is the place where we help advancing dentists attract and keep more of their patients, increase your production and, and create sustainable growth for your practice. And today I want to talk to you about dental marketing because that's what most people ask me a lot of questions about is dental marketing. And I want to think of this whole concept of dental marketing in a whole different way, okay? So if you're going down the street and you look what your neighbor's doing and another neighbor's going, you look at websites or even across the country, they're pretty much the same because they're casting a huge net. They're trying to catch anybody coming in. So it's real generic, real vanilla, and it, it's just trying to get everyone. I want you to think of it different. I want you to think not only for attracting patients, but and, and I talk about attracting your ideal patient. It needs to be magnetic where they cannot resist it because you are the only person that serves that ideal patient. But also, I want you to think of it this way. I want it to forcibly repel everyone else that does not fit that model. And that's a scary thing for a lot of dentists. They're like, I can't chase away ben, uh, business. No, it's not that you're being mean about it and you're not chasing away future opportunities, but if they're not the right patient and they don't match your ideal profile, profile you shouldn't be seeing them. You're not everyone's dentist. I say that often, we know that, it's in our vocabulary, but yet yeah, that's what our marketing does. We're trying to catch everything. Do not make your marketing a laundry list of everything you do and you're hoping somebody fits one of those 72 categories that you put on. Make sure that marketing piece attracts that one person, that one ideal client. And you might have more than one ideal group, you might have five ideal groups, but if that one marketing campaign for that particular ideal patient is just for that. And so they look at it and say, well that's not the, patient, the doctor for me and I need to go somewhere else. They're doing you a favor because if they're not the ideal patient, they need to be with the who's ideal and you need to be who you are the hero to. I want you to be the hero for that community. Okay, so magnetically attract right and I want you to start forcibly repelling. That's what I like about video because that's what it's really good about. If it resonates with somebody, they are yours and if it doesn't feel right to them, it'd be just like them talking to you in the office and it's like, I didn't have a good vibe about that person there. Think of it as a compliment. They didn't come into the office and waste your time and you didn't waste their time. So take it from there. So if you have a question for a future episode, please send them in. We, that's where we get ideas for these based on the conversation that's going out there in the dental community. And also, of course, please subscribe to our podcast on um, iTunes for any iTunes enabled device. The Dental a Patient Podcast Dental Patient Attraction Podcast. Go into there and search on it and subscribe to it. So we're going to send special tidbits that you can't get anywhere else and it's only going to go to our subscribers on iTunes about growing your business and, and increasing your production. So I will look for you on our podcast and until our next episode, this is Ginger Bratzel signing off. Take care.